between uh, people in the, uh, the community, neighbors. Uh, of course, I mean, it's been a case of priority for ours for the last 24 hours. Uh, because this person not only victimized this fire department, they victimized this community by taking uh, uh, these tools, these life-saving tools, away from the community and not, not making them available. Um, uh, through our investigation, we learned of a, uh, a person of interest. Uh, uh, we started the investigation. Uh, we was actually there last night. Uh, he was a former me member of the fire department. Uh, and we identified him and uh, went to his residence with the assistance of Knox County Sheriff's Office and made an arrest uh, at about 8.50 this afternoon uh, for the theft of the property. Uh, interviewing with him at the scene, he gave us information that the, uh, all the equipment had been taken to another location in Knox County, Knox County Sheriff's Office along with our investigators went to that location and uh, when I left down there they recovered every item except one, I think a pipe hole that they were still down there looking for. Uh, we got investigators still down there. As far as the charges of that gentleman, I can refer you to the Knox County Sheriff's Office uh, because I know there was three arrested when I left down there and taken into custody. Sheriff, to know that it was a former firefighter, I know that that's a fraternity, a brotherhood, a family. How much more disheartening does it make this, knowing that it was someone who, who used to work here and invest himself in the community? Well, I mean, it does. I mean, because, I mean, he understands, he knows the importance of, of this equipment that's on this truck. I mean, the area of this where it is, I mean, this fire department a few years ago made provisions to put that station there because of, of the long response time. And they had that equipment on there for a reason, to save lives and make a difference. And for someone to take advantage of that, and especially someone that, uh, you know, done this profession, but I think that you look around at all of careers in public safety, unfortunately we have those that uh, go against the grain and, and, and turn and, and do these type of things. And, and you know, it's, it's disheartening, it's disgraceful to, to the oath that you come in here and you swear to do is to uh, protect your citizens and give them that service. And how much safer is New Market today getting all of this stuff back? I mean, it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference, just like, you know, like the chief was saying here. I mean, you know, we live in a time where, you know, we have our challenges at the sheriff's office trying to replace equipment, and it just don't happen like it did a few years ago. Pre-COVID, you could say, hey, you know, we need to replace this in a week or two, you have it. Um, this, you're probably looking maybe eight, ten weeks, maybe longer to be able to replace this equipment. So it's going to make the difference between them having a traffic crash and having the equipment come from this station to respond down there, for them to drive down there, the firemen, the first response wouldn't have this equipment. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's made a difference. I can't remember if you already answered this or not, I apologize. Uh, what was the suspect's demeanor like when y'all did arrest uh, him? Didn't say much. Uh, we went there and explained to him, you know, we'd interviewed him last night. And uh, we come back and, and told him uh, the evidence that we, we had gotten through some video surveillance uh, that, you know, he was there. We put him there and we put his vehicle there. We put him leaving there with equipment from his truck. So uh, he pretty much knew when we come back that the second time. This is the third time today. Been there twice today. And uh, when we come back this last time, uh, he, he pretty much knew. Could you just tell us when did he work at this? It was at this department, and, and how long did he work here for? What was his rank? That I, I, I think he was just a firefighter. I have to. Volunteer fireman. Volunteer fireman. He was here about two years. We wanted to get rid of him right back there, but we gave him a second chance. I called him on the and told him to bring his stuff up in there. And to the chief and to Moose, uh, can you guys just talk about how important it is to have this specific equipment, more specifically the Jaws of Life, back in you guys' possession? Yes, it, uh, what it is, it takes us a year, and we'll from 10 to 12 minutes to get from here to Strawberry Plain. We have a lot of it from old Danny Pine. And that station, we put it down out in 2000, 
Good job, but I want to thank Sheriff Coffee. I'm doing it. The only thing I gotta add is, son, we all here to help the public. As a sheriff's department, I'm a deputy sheriff, a fire chief. I'm in the fire department here. We all here to help the community, and it's like when you take away from churches or you people steal from there and the, and volunteer. We just volunteer, and it hurts. And I just want to thank for bottom of my heart for the jail for Sheriff Coffee to do him what he did. He did uh, 20, almost 24 hours on it, I guess he has. He probably ain't had much sleep on it. But we want to thank the search department and uh, we're glad we got our stuff back because that helps save lives. And, also, and I want to thank all the firefighters of this fire department that we got that stood up and, and, and want to be a part to get our stuff back. Yeah. We just want to help the community, that's all. And also I want to thank Rock City, Oak Ridge Fire Department, and the fire chief over the East Tennessee and stuff. Yeah. They called me tonight. He said, do you boys need anything from up there for the East Tuck? Education, anything. They said, uh, call us, we'll bring it to you. And I want to thank them people from North and Oak Ridge and uh, uh, the fire chief association of East Tennessee. And they were going to bring stuff up there. I said, we got it covered because we have more jobs we can put in that truck. So I want to thank them for offering their help. Sheriff, what does it mean to you to hear the thanks of these two stand-up gentlemen with the fire department to know that, that, that you helped in bringing back their equipment and bringing them back to, to, to normal? Well, I appreciate both these gentlemen. I mean, decades of service to this community. Of, of the service as, as law enforcement, constable, as firefighters. And I mean, you're talking about some of the founding uh, members of this fire department that started it years ago and their dedication to this community and the sacrifice that they put in. And they, they ain't getting paid any for it. And, you know, you know, that was our goal when we come in here. I mean, volunteer, fire department, they have taken their equipment and, you know, it was gonna be all hands. To, to be able to do this. And I mean, you know, we reached out to even our IT uh, uh, department, our guy that works IT was down there helping us download videos from residents and it's to make sure that we got those recorded. So I mean, we, we pulled, uh, you know, everybody out to, to help solve this because I mean, it was, uh, uh, I, to my personal feeling, I mean, it was a threat to the community down there because, you know, that equipment wasn't there. Because my family travels that roadway as well. I want to say, also, he used to be an MA here, so he grew up with us <laughs> in the ailments and everything, so he knew what we did, and, and but, uh, but I just want to thank him again, and thank thank everybody. Thank the community that was involved helping you and everything. We thank the word of everybody here. We give our time, and I don't care to do it. I've done it for years, and I don't care as long as we can help somebody. Again, I want to thank Sheriff Coffee here. I've known him for years. I've known him for years. I've known him for We work together and everything. And I want to thank him and his man for what they've done for us and all the people that support us on it. I'm just proud to get our stuff back. <laughs> I think we, if you can see, we got more coming, Sheriff said, don't you, Sheriff? We got more. This, this is part of it. Um, Right here is the main room, right here. This is one of this one is the main room right here.
Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Oh,